finally, the hype is real. It is freaking real. Ryu from Street Fighter has finally come to Super Smash Bros. Oh my god, I'm so freaking hyped right now. Ryu is one of my all-time favorite characters. Like, I'm just being so dead honest. I've been I've been a huge Street Fighter fan for over 20 years. I used to play the mess out of Street Fighter since, you know, since I was a little, a little boy, whenever I had Street Fighter 2 on my Sega Genesis. And, you know, I'm just so, you know, I'm, I'm already a Super Smash Bros. fan. It's a really great game. And by Nintendo, Capcom, you know, I guess, uh, uh, I guess make a little collaboration with another character. Of course, you know, we got the Mega Man character, you know, that's from Capcom on Smash Brothers. And, and with Ryu coming, I am so freaking hyped. And, you know, I hadn't played Smash Brothers in a, in a few weeks, but, you know, stuff like that, I will get my happy ass back on that game. I am so serious right now. And the hype is real. The only thing I don't like about it, that should have been, that should, you know, news like that shouldn't have been leaked. You know, it should have been, that should have been, um, I know they, I know they're supposed to have a, a, a direct tomorrow, a Super Smash Bros. direct, you know, telling the, uh, telling us, uh, what's, what they're gonna put on the, on the Smash Bros. game, the new content, DLC characters and all that, all that, uh, but, you know, stuff like that with Ryu, I, I know there's another character, Roy from Fire Emblem, I'm not really much of a Fire, Fire Emblem fan, you know, but, you know, of course a lot of y'all, y'all are excited about Roy, but me personally, I'm a huge Ryu fan, you know, I'm, hands down, man, and that ba that basically, you know, got me very, very hyped for this, and, you know, as, uh, you know, as being a Nintendo fan, I'm very happy about um, the, the events that we are getting, you know, we got the, uh, got the Direct tomorrow, and the same day, got the Nintendo Championships, then we got the, um, we got the digital vent and the treehouse and all that. They're, this whole entire week is filled with all kinds of Nintendo content, and you know, um, you know, like a what was it about a week or two ago, Japan had like a, a surprise Nintendo Direct showing some of the games that's going to come out. Um, but you know, stuff like that, we thought that should have been safe for E3. So these other games that they are mentioning, like new games that we wasn't aware of, you know, that could have been safe for E3. So they're basically telling us that. Nintendo probably got something up their sleeves. We already know about, you know, they got more third-party collaborations that, that we want to get. And we already know about the number of exclusives that we already going to get, like like Star Fox, uh, Devil's Third, um, was the Yoshi, uh, Wooly World, Mario Maker, uh, was that Project John Guard, Project John Robot, the localization of Fatal Frame, uh, was it Shimmy Gami Tensei, uh, X Fire Emblem. We already know about those games. We already know about them. And, you know, and but you know basically we supposed to be getting a lot more unannounced game and this collaboration with third parties and plus Ubisoft was in the in the in the uh, conversation like I don't know it's kind of hard to believe that and if Ubisoft got some kind of game with us you know game for the Nintendo uh, Wii U I would be very 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 surprised and you know with, with these with this the announcements that we already know about and we supposed to get a lot more unannounced games it got me really 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 hyped for this digital event that we're going to get on tuesday and i'm so freaking happy this is so freaking awesome happy news you know i'm a huge 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 street fighter fan and i love ryu that's my favorite character on street fighter you know i got ryu ken and um Fei Long, those are my three main characters that I play with, and don't hey, I don't, don't I don't sleep on Fei Long. He's a badass character, man. Yeah, but Ryu, Ryu, he's my favorite. You know, a lot of times I switch between Ryu and Ken, but they, their moves is almost identical, but they all, but their, but their moves is a little, you know, their finish moves a little different. But you know, Ryu, he's he just uh, he's the man, man. I'm just being honest, he's the man. <laughs> you know, that, I, that tells you that I'm just a huge fan, and. And, um, you know, and like I said, man, this week's going to be full of surprises, and hopefully Nintendo will come with it. Come with it, man. Come with it. You know, show us that y'all still got it. And I already know that Nintendo is going to throw out the um, um, majority of exclusives. We already know Nintendo are kings of exclusives. And, you know, that's why, you know, that's why I'm a big Nintendo fan, because they... they they basically uh, have to. Uh, they basically have to, you know, uh, get a lot more games, you know, coming from Nintendo or collaborate with third parties just to get games in their systems instead of, you know, basically depending on third parties to make games for them. Because we already know, we already know how that situation is. We already know that, you know, a lot of Nintendo fanboys don't buy, uh, 
by uh, you know third party games on Nintendo systems because it's not made for Nintendo, blah 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 that, but you know it is what it is. But you know, with Nintendo with their own games, with their with them collaborating with third party games and you know, I wish that we could get a lot more games on the Wii U and I'm thinking I'm really speculating that we are gonna get a lot more games on the Wii U because these past two years with the continuous drops throughout the first the first half of the year, this, this past two years has been horrendous. You know, like with last year, you know, we, you know, with uh, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze and Mario Kart 8, fantastic games. But, you know, you got those two games and you got Hyrule Warriors. Those games, I believe that was a nine month span of, of um, the only games that Nintendo got on the Wii U. You know, that's, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> that's over a half, that's over a half a year. That's three quarters of a, of a year. And this year, you know, half a year get well about three games in a half a year and it's, it's been a huge drought you know of course the third party games the multiplayer games is non-existent anymore you know those games like Mortal Kombat you know games like Resident Evil Revelations 2 uh games like The Witcher 3 you know those big big heavy hitters that's on the Xbox and the PlayStation console it sucks that it's not getting on the Wii U and yeah but I ain't trying to talk about that. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to be positive, and like I say, hopefully with this this uh, event that we about to get, I'm I'm uh, very I'm, I'm I'm being like I said I'm being positive, and I'm hoping for the best for Nintendo. Hopefully that can give us a lot more content, a lot more games. So whenever whenever uh, next year approach, like between January, February, March, April, May, that we could get a lot more uh, games in those months because it's just something about those months. It'd be really really dry. We already know about the games like. You know, like the months of like September all the way to December. You know, we get, we're gonna get games in those months, but the first half of the year, these past couple of years, it's, it's been horrendous. I just been on, it's been horrendous, and hopefully they will fix that. Honestly, I really hope that they will fix that. And like I said, man, this is a positive video about Nintendo. I hope for the best. Hopefully they break this E3. Go want them to win E3. You know, I will. You know, but me being a gamer, I want everybody to break it. I want everybody to bring. I know a lot of Nintendo fan base want Nintendo to win the E3 or E3, but I just want everybody to bring it because I'm a huge Microsoft fan. I, I like their games. You know, you know, I used to be a PlayStation fan. I still, I'm still in. I'm still are. You know, but I don't own a console because I felt that it's just not enough um, exclusives on that con on that console for me to go and spend four hundred dollars. But like I said, I hope that they all bring it this year and. Like I said, there's no fanboy in me. I want them all to bring it. No, but with the Wii U situation, I want them to. I want them to. I guess you could say I want them to win. I, I'm. I'm not saying that as a fanboy because we are no Microsoft and Sony is gonna get all the support as far as third parties. But with Nintendo, I feel that they got to do a lot of stuff on their own. And I. I just hope, like I said, hopefully that they will bring this, bring it, so they can actually. Stop being the laughing stock of the gaming community. That's, that's basically where I'm coming from. But anyway, guys, y'all just let me know how I feel about this um, recent news, this leak about Ryu being Super Smash Brothers. Ryu and Roy. Don't let me forget Roy. You know, I'm not a big fan of Roy. I don't really play Fire Emblem. But, you know, y'all just let me know how, how y'all feel about the leak. Do y'all feel that? Do y'all feel that they should have waited until they announced that? Do y'all think that, you know, these leaks and these games is basically throwing off E3, it's not making E3 as exciting as it's supposed to be because everybody keep continuously leaking all these games that could have been saved for E3. Do y'all think, you know, leaking games is bad for E3? Y'all just let me know how y'all feel about this, uh, feel about this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. And once again, this is your boy, Regame27, and y'all have a good day.